I know I said see you in the next one. I know I said like bye bye, but I want to show you guys the last um like not the last one, but the API that I finally I just finished. And I want to show uh you all the queries that we can make. So we have movies, we have movie, and we have suggestions. Alright. Uh I was uh fucking around with the YTS API. And sorry, YTS. API and I saw what the movies, the um, movie and suggestions. Okay, so I just want to show you real quick the API that I ended up with get movies, get movie, and get suggestion. I changed note fetch for Axios, that's it. And uh, limit and rating, this they stay the same. Uh, movie ID and movie ID. So I want to show it to you. So, for example, let's get movies five. We get five, right? I'm gonna get ID of one of them. This one, for example, the mountain two, all right? And um, then I want to do a new query. I wanna say movie ID. This one, I wanna get the title. I wanna get, oh, Fuck. the summary it wasn't the summary description all right and I want to get the rating done okay now uh, what I mean imagine is that uh, we haven't done this yet but we're going to what I'm imagining is that we we load the page and react is right and when we load we're gonna see a lot all the movies but when we click I want to go to a movie page which is gonna take us here right and I want to see suggestions of this movie all right that's what I have here well that's what I have here, the resolvers, a suggestions one, which gets a suggestions uh, from the URL. It's something called movie suggestions. That's it. You can see it here, suggestions, movie suggestions. All right, I just get the movie ID and we start and we get it. So I know I told you about underfetching, overfetching. I want to explain, I want to show it to you. Suggestions, ID. This is like thinking of the screens I want to make, all right? I'm gonna get the photo, medium cover image, and the rating, for example, right? And what this is going to do, as you can see here, I'm putting two queries into one, which is cool. Uh, I have two queries, movie and suggestions, but I can put them into one, all right? Because this is, this is what I need to paint my screen. So again, like I told you, I want to go in, I want to see all the movies, all right? I want to limit them and, um, That'll be it. And then I want to click on one and I want to go to suggestions. I want to go to the movie and then show the, show the suggestions. Uh, this is awesome. If uh, we wanted to make a screen like that, we need to have two methods, get movie ID and then get suggestions, right? If this was a REST API, just like what I did here, I do here, look. Uh, get the movie details and get the movie suggestions. This will have to be on the front end, but now here on GraphQL, I just can put two of them and I have all the data I need with one request to paint my screen. So that's the last update. Um, that will be the API. I don't think I'll extend anything else. Just click on it, see the suggestions and see the whole detail. And that's it. Um, I don't know yet if I should upload this to a server and then you can use it from there or if I should, or if you should clone it and then you start it. I don't know yet, I'll have to figure that out, but I will see you on the front end part of this GraphQL series. See you, bye bye.